for you. I'm, I'm sitting here looking at it right now. Ain't nothing going to come up today that me and the Lord can't handle. I believe you believe that. I do believe it, and there's been a many a picture taken of that, and I'm glad they sent it to me. Some folks sent that from somewhere. Yeah. Mr. Acuff, thanks again. Right now, let's switch to Janet Tyson, who's standing by live at my usual location, and she's there with these masters of bluegrass music, Jim and Jesse McReynolds. Janet, what's going on? Well, we decided that maybe since we have Jim and Jesse, Janet, we might make a trio here. Yeah. So that's right. What, you sing the third part? Oh, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is. We can home. It's you, good uh, to you see you, mandolin. gentlemen. You play mandolin? No, I don't, but oh, I'm gosh, willing, I'm willing could, to learn. I thought we could cure that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Jim's sitting over there still drinking coffee, and I understand that there's a reason for that. You're trying to stay awake, right? Yeah. You guys just drove back in from Chicago. We were, yeah, we were in a little town of uh, Sandwich, Illinois, last night. Uh -huh. and, uh, we got back in about noon today. Had to slide part of the way, but we made it. So the weather up there was pretty nasty, huh? It was, uh, it was getting that way. They had some uh, freezing rain and uh, snow and everything mixed, so I guess they, they have plenty of snow, I guess, tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, you all, you all drive together? Do you take turns driving? Yeah, you, yeah we're still traveling the same bus. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, right now we don't have a... We don't have a Hired driver, so we're uh -huh. doing most of it. So. Well, that's all right. We got a bunch of young young kids with us in our band, so uh -huh. when they get old enough, we'll make them we'll all make drive. We'll make them yeah. drive. <laughs> okay. Well, you've been doing some work out in, in California as well. You played for the Fair Buyers Convention out there? Yeah, we went recently. to Anaheim with the uh, Masters. That's with uh, uh, Josh Gray and Kenny Baker and Eddie Adcock. And we were sort of celebrating our uh, Grammy nomination for our album we did, The Masters mm -hmm. of Bluegrass. That's right. Now, we got to talk about that Grammy. Congratulations. You gentlemen uh, are, are nominated for a Grammy in the Bluegrass category. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll find out about that, what, on the 21st, 21st right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, that's that's an incredible accomplishment. I know you're proud of that. Well, we've had a lot of, uh, it makes you feel good when people from the newspaper and different places start calling you and sending you all these congratulations. And, Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was really nominated for it until oh, I heard really? all of that. Uh -huh. But it's, it's real great to be a part of it. Yeah. Well, are you all going out for the awards? I think you know? we'll be out of town. We won't be able to go there. But uh, You're going to be working, I'll so be, you don't get to go. I'll be watching for it. Uh -huh. I, I'm sending Billy Troy, our producer. I think he's going out and take care of that. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you what. You've got a gentleman. We've got a gentleman here. Keith, you don't have anything on us tonight. You had uh, music in Mr. Roy's dressing room, and we're going to have some music here tonight, too. You, you gentlemen have uh, a new member of your of your team well, to introduce to us tonight. We have a real special um, guest with us. He was down here uh, about six months ago and appeared on the opera with us. We worked a lot of festivals with him, and uh, he's from uh, Sar Sarnia, <laughs> Ontario, Canada. Come on in. And yeah, his name is, is Mike Stevens, and uh, a lot of folks have probably seen Mike on, Hi, the, on Mike. the stage. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to and, meet you. Uh, we're glad to have him come down and and let him play for the folks on the Opry on television tonight. You got his red shirt on. Where are you going to shine tonight? Gonna oh, I know. Out. I'm going to shake a little bit, too. <laughs> <I think. laughs> well, let's see. Now, does that shake and doesn't, doesn't get in the way of playing the harmonica, then does it? I think it? the way I play that helps. Even it did help, yeah. yeah. It gives now, you if he energy. couldn't shake, he couldn't play. Is that right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <true>. <laughs> yeah, in fact, in fact, before we went on the air, you said you wanted to get him out here and make him play some and, uh, and kind of yeah. wear down the energy a little bit. Yeah, he's been walking the floor for a couple uh -huh. of days, I think. Uh -huh. You didn't walk all the way from Canada, did you? I, I tell you, I wore a hole in the rug in the living room <laughs> as soon as I found out about this pace and back and forth. Oh, I'm going to have to get that redone. But, uh, well, uh, when did you, how did you start playing the harmonica? Why, why did you take up that instrument? Well, my dad played um, back home a little bit, and I played a little bit then and uh, put it away. And then when I was about, oh, I guess, 16 or 17, we did some traveling around, a friend and I, and uh, we didn't have a whole lot of money, so I had a harmonica, and we just, I bothered him all the way to Alberta and back in this van. Mm -hmm. He had to listen to me learning and screeching and making all kinds of noise on it, and finally, through people like Jim and Jesse and, and a lot of help from a lot of great people, I've had an opportunity to play here, and mm -hmm. just, I'm thrilled. Good. Now, say that word again, A-B-O-U-T. How do you pronounce that? Oh, a boat. Yeah, that one. <laughs> a boat, eh? <laughs> that one, yeah. Well, now, will Mike be with you all on the on the cruise coming up? Oh, These yeah. guys have a real hard duty ahead of them. You're going out on a bluegrass cruise. Now, when is that coming up? It's next the 12th through the 16th. 12th through the 16th. The Osborne Brothers are going to be going along, yeah. too, right? Lewis family and uh, Doyle Lawson. And yeah, Mike will be on there. Yeah, it's going to be a... It was yeah. a great cruise. A good cruise, that's yeah. right. It's, uh, sold out, so... Uh, you asked me if I knew how to play mandolin. Can I learn fast enough to go on that cruise? I need <laughs> to go on a cruise. 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> Which is easier to learn to play, mandolin or harmonica? Well, if you were on the cruise, I'd use a mandolin. They make a good paddle in case, okay. uh, <laughs> in case you have to bail yeah, out. Yeah, these wouldn't get you very far, these ones. <laughs> Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. We're gonna we're gonna let you give us a sample of what we're gonna be seeing a little bit later on the Opry show with Jim and Mike Jesse. Is, uh, I'd like to mention too, he's he's doing his first album. That's one reason he came in town besides oh, the yeah. show. He's doing an album this week on Monday and Tuesday. Monday and we, Tuesday. We're gonna be working in the studio with him and he's got some great things planned. It's wonderful. For his, for his first record. Y'all are gonna be working on an album together? Yes. Good, good. I'll be, I'll be picking mandolin with him, and uh -huh. and Jim will be a something, studio visitor or something. Studio visitor. Oh, he's gonna sit. He's gonna sit in and then oversee the project then and drink coffee. Oh, got yeah, the best yeah. support in the world. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, Keith went out a little earlier. I went to the break with uh, some dobro and guitar and fiddle in there. We're gonna we're gonna play the uh, harmonica to hear harmonica here, and then at some point in time, it's gonna be time to go to commercial break. And w but get us started. Let's, okay, let us have a see sample if I can of this. Get Does this guy ever breathe? I mean, this is... <laughs> not very much. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for a backstage visit with Miss Barbara Mandrell when our show continues from the Grand Ole Opry House. <laughs> 